Hello everyone, it's Naive, and today I am making a CopperCube 6 tutorial video. This is a game engine which is free, available, the link is down in the description. In previous videos, I've talked about the basics of CopperCube 6. If you want to check that video out, the link is also down in the description. For today, we are going to be talking about textures. Now, textures are, let's say, pictures applied to the object. For example, this cube has a texture. And you can see we have a textures bar. It's right here, textures bar. And we have different textures available for us. Those are default textures, but you can if you want, create your own textures or download your textures and add them to anything you want. For example, this might be cube, this might be, for example, let's create sphere and things like that. Now let's delete those two. Not the skybox. Yes. Now, if you want to add any texture to the game, you must press add a texture, load a file. This will open up a window in your computer and you can choose the file, the destination of the file, where the textures are and apply it to the specific object. I want to create a room today so let's create a room. If we go on uh, create, we have cube, sphere, cylinder, cone, plane, camera, terrain, room, mesh, and right here, create a room. Now this gives us a window. This gives us a window of creating a room. This is why I love Copper Cube 6 because it allows you to make something simple like this in just seconds. You can draw a 2D map of a room below when clicking on OK. A 3D room will be created from your 2D map. On the right, select the textures, a wall, a floor, types of you want to draw. Now, let's just click OK to see what it looks like. And this is our room. So this is our room, which has four walls. It has arched ceiling and that's it. Now, let's delete this. Let's create a room, but let's create our own room. This is default room. So we can select the ceiling type if we want flat, if we want no ceiling, let's do flat. We can add ceiling texture if we press on here. You can add any texture you want, for example, this texture. We press, let's say, OK. And we can also add wall height. Now, this is important because if you create a character, the character must be lower than the wall height because in that case he will go above the wall. So let's make it 1.5. I keep it simple. Now floor. Now let's click create floor. We can clear everything if we press clear and see it clears everything and we can create first floor. So let's create this right here and we create a wall around here and now we click OK and it creates a room for us now it's a flat room right so as I said we are going to be talking about textures now I want to apply texture to this to apply texture to a room or any object we go to properties on your left side and we go to materials now you can see different options here you can see the lighting option and you can see the individual option. Now, the lighting option makes you choose between static light and dynamic light. Now, as you can see, I press dynamic light and everything turned pitch black, right? Now, why does this happen? Because if you press on dynamic light, you would be needing a light source. Now, let's go back to create and point light. As you can see, we created a point light. I will be having a different tutorial about uh, lights, but just in case we're talking about only textures right now. So I created point light and you can actually see everything, but 
it has a better looking textures as you can see why because dynamic light allows you to create more real shadows like if we press static light it looks kind of you know different right with dynamic light it looks more realistic also we have different options for each texture for example we can make it solid we can make it transparent we can make it transparent and add a layer to it we can make it solid fake reflective as you can see this reflects the ceiling so that's why it's fake reflecting we can add transparent fake reflecting those things are kind of similar it just depends on the quality of texture and we can add normal maps now creating normal maps is kind of difficult and if you want to create a normal map I will give you a good suggestion which comes free for copper cube this is a site called normal map online this is completely free and you can download or you can of course pay for it for free and you can create anything you want you just need to click right here where the mouse is the first window and you can drag any texture you want then it will create towards the middle the normal map which also will be showcased on the third window right here as you can see I'm moving the cube and then you can press download to download the texture now you can see that I added two textures so this is it's on the right side of the screen so this is one and this is two now this texture we press on it and then go not to selected texture but to the texture slot for normal map and here we created a normal map for this I know it looks a bit different but let's make a normal map for the walls so we press solid we go to normal mapped then we press on the normal web map which we selected which is right here and then we press set selected texture in the slot and it creates a normal mapped room now to showcase this better let's publish it's publishing and now you kind of can see the normal maps now this is this doesn't look that good <laughs> I would admit but it's normal mapped meaning that it has a bit more realistic grounded texture then for example if you look at this like you can see the contrast between those two this definitely like the ceiling definitely looks like a picture but the walls and the ground look like something which is realistic once again I will be giving the link down in the description for the normal maps which is available online and you can adjust adjust some settings and make it more you know different than this is right now now if we go to back to solid it will have the solid look I guess the solid looks also uh, better well it's it does look a bit different with normal maps but in this case the textures are just applied using nothing at all and by the way uh, the textures are different sizes as you know for so in the games those textures for example are 256 by 256 you can also have a 4k textures a 2k textures or 8k textures it always depends on the performance if you want a different texture if you want a better quality then of course you can download 4k textures for the games and once again here I'm giving the link in the description to the poly heaven those are some textures HDRIs which are highly photo scanned seamless 8k resolution materials also different models and this concludes 
the textures uh, once again I mentioned that you can apply textures to anything for example let's create an armchair this is a prefab I talked about prefabs those are in-game made assets which are available for free so as you can see materials we can go and add material right here select material from textures and then see we created this chair we can also make the same with this press solid and now if we press publish we created this not so good looking armchair but once again if you want to make your games look better you definitely should use higher resolution textures of course use dynamic always so you can see you can see how this changed like if you pay attention static lights and then if you change it to dynamic it looks more like it's in the game because it affects all the shadows and everything thanks for watching everyone I hope this was helpful and I will be doing some other tutorials on copper cube 6 and if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section thanks for watching have a great day